and welcome back to the tackle room, guys. We're joined again by none other than England feeder interna- international Lee Kerry. Today, we're going to be talking about the European Feeder Cup. Uh, Lee is one of the main organisers for this event, and he's going to give us a little rundown of what it's all about. Mm, yeah, I certainly will. So basically, the European Feeder Cup is a is is a concept that I we came back from France. The England feeder team came back from France a couple of years ago, and we didn't rarely, uh, luckily, we didn't have our greatest trip, and we all felt that it was very frustrating that it was just like a uh, international trip a year. Yeah, And we wanted more opportunities to fish against the international anglers because, of course, and I can relate this to any type of fishing, when we all fish against each other here in the in England on English venues, we've got quite good at it. Yeah. And if we can take those styles elsewhere, we can be successful. But, for example, very rarely do you not use a fish meal ground bait in England um, because it's the best. It works the best fish are used to it go abroad there's pretty much never any fish meal ground baits we've tried it multiple times it never seems to work so you know you're lacking in experience there because you're not doing it you know when we used to do it all the time that was fine but when you're not doing it you need to get better so like just talking in amongst ourselves we all felt there needed to be another international feeder event on the calendar um and we looked at doing it last year, but the World Championships was moved to October because it had uh, the the Ukraine uh, war had meant stuff had moved around. Yeah, so we couldn't do it last year, so we've decided to kick it off this year. Now, when you're trying to get an event like this off the ground, you can only imagine how tricky it is because you know I'm ringing up the local teams, is in France, Belgium, Holland, Germany, Ireland, Wales, Scotland all got an invite to this event and you know for various reasons competitions were on what have you one thing or another some could do it some couldn't do it and it was frustrating because you want the teams to be able to take part in it um but they they couldn't so we then extended the invite to teams where we had connections so uh the hungarians we know well the czechs we know well the austrians we know well um, and, and obviously extended that in-house as well to the England Masters feeder team. Uh, and that, that all of a sudden, we had an event. We had 10 teams of six anglers. So the event will be Monday to Friday. Monday and Tuesday will be official practice days. Yep. So just like a world champs, every team will be there. They will be in their groups, of, in their teams, randomly drawn. And the teams will go and have a practice probably on one bank and the other bank. Um, And then the match will be three days. I've got to be honest, I've done a lot of world level fishing over the last 15 years. Um, Well, longer to 20, 20 odd years. Um, And five days practice, two days match always seems imbalanced to me. I love the match. I'd love to see four days practice, three days match, if I'm being honest. Um, a long way to go to fish for two match days and the five days always end up as a bit of an internal battle so what i wanted to create with this was two days practice three days competition with the weekends for traveling just try to make the whole thing enclosed within a week uh and give people the opportunity to do it and the best way to get an event off the ground uh alex is to do it yourself um You can't rely on other people. You can't rely on other countries. So um, I'm going to say it was, uh, I'm not going to say it was thrust upon me to organise it, but <laughs> I, I, my nature is to grab something by the scruff of the neck and go, stop talking about it, let's do it. Yep. Um, and it won't be in England every year. This will be the first year it will be in England. Belgium have offered to host next year. Um, and, I, you know, we need to arrange that. Uh, and I hope the other countries take part. So we've we've come now with 10 teams who are going to turn up to Boston for what will be the first international uh, team event in England for a long time uh, in course fishing. Obviously, we had the Cart, Ladies' Cart World Championships 
Um, but for England course fishing, this is a big one. Um, yeah. And we will run it as close to official FIPS rules as possible, um, which I think is worth saying at this point. Uh, I would love nothing more than for FIPS, the world governing body of angling, to run a European feeder championships. Yep. I greatly hope that one day they go, well, we'll do European championships if you want, and you can make it as one because I want to fish at, at that international level as much as possible. But until that day happens, we're going to be as proactive as possible and put something on the map. So it's going to be really interesting. We've got the current uh, full England feeder team participating. Yeah. There is an opportunity for other anglers to prove themselves in what will be a second team, if you like, England feeder team. Uh, you know, to be a... a I'm not sure but by the time this comes out whether it'll have been announced or not, but it'll be yep. touch and go. I'm sure it will have been. Um, and there's some great guys going to be taking part in there, guys who are looking to the future to be part of the team. Um, the Masters team, it's another chance for them to fish internationally. And we've got the world champions coming in Hungary. So, you know, we believe that Hungary are potentially one of the strongest match fishing nations there is. It's great to have them there. Um, we've got some fantastic other anglers from places like Czech Republic. I can say for people in England, very unlikely they will have ever seen any Czechs fishing. But let me yep. tell you now, they are red hot, very, very good anglers. So it'll be great to see them. Um, you know, and I would encourage anyone who wants to come and see what international fishing is about to get themselves to Boston on the Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Um, show the anglers some respect, obviously, distance wise. Uh, but come and see what it's all about. Come and see the intensity, come and see the different styles. It's no method feeders, no pellets. Yep. Um, it's classic feeder rules, it's called classic feeder. So I'm not giving that the name myself. Um, you know, and it's going to be interesting to see how we go about tackling the vast quantities of skimmers carp f1s that are in the venue i would yeah i would i would expect to see the best ever uh catches in a in an international feeder based event for sure because baston is of course exceptional so and that's that's it i was i was just yeah. about to say like obviously these guys coming over internationally won't have a clue what f1s are no nope. <clears throat> it's do you think they will play a big part in the event or <clears throat> yeah i do i do i think carp and f1s will play a part um we held a, an international individual event four years ago at Boston uh that i ran and the hungarians came first and second uh matty uh, sivak came first thomas walter came second um i was fortunate enough to sneak in third i suppose i should mention that um <laughs> and uh but they they showed us the way they showed us the way they fished in a way that um caught them big weights and i can't wait to come and see if they can do it again so it's going to be really interesting um we've got a fantastic team but like i said we've got teams of people who what you've got to remember is since that last event at Barston, there, there isn't many 50 centimetre free running, no pellet matches at Barston. No, exactly. So, you know, where carp count, if they have had those rules, carp don't usually count. So, how do you, and that's what made the difference last time, how yep. do you catch those bonus carp, those bonus F1s? You know, um, I was chatting to Steve Ringer just today, and he was saying how the carp average about eight pound that the yeah. main shoals of carp, you know, it's a lot of skimmers for eight pound. Um, it's also got a lot of smaller, I'm going to call them stocky carp, but they're three pound a piece. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, it's going to be, it's going to be incredibly tactical because every section will be different. It's going to be incredibly interesting and more so I'm just, I'm really excited by the, response i've seen on social media to the match yeah. um you know it's it's got an energy about it i can tell that people are keen 
um you know they, they they're loving that we're having a go at running something and you know i can only say that i've worked closely with steve Fitzpatrick at the angling trust for this and he's been incredible um he's put a lot of enthusiasm in he's helped me a lot uh you know i was going to do it myself i wasn't expecting them help from the angling trust as such um but they've been fantastic and you know the enthusiasm is there from all your teams to run these events um so i'm hoping that we can combine our experiences and yeah. put on a good show and i think that's one of the main things to say obviously with the 18 now, especially the competition team, all we're looking for to do now is move forward and make everything better. And whether that's obviously with this European feeder cup or with it, whether mm. it's with one of the older competitions like the division mm. one. Absolutely. And and things evolve and things improve and things change and mistakes get made. It's the first ever European feeder cup. I'm going for perfection. I can guarantee we won't achieve it, but, if the effort's there, if the enthusiasm's there, and you listen to what the anglers have got to say, that's all we can ask for. Um, and I just hope, I'd love to see as many people there as possible to try and, uh, you know, back what is a, a fantastic event. Yeah. I'm expecting it to be something special, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm very <laughs> excited about it. And I think one of the things to mention as well, obviously, we're trying to get it to fit rules as much as possible. Mm -hmm. um the stewards on the day are doing this obviously out of their own sort of voluntary basis and yeah yep. a, a lot a lot of these guys that do volunteer are massive match anglers so the main reason they mm. do it is to actually learn um and, yeah, they, yeah they will learn yeah absolutely yeah i mean look if anyone <laughs> anyone who's keen on match fishing who wants to come down and help out as a steward across any of the three days <laughs> private message me on facebook um you know i think i don't really think it's how difficult to contact people these days yep. so get in contact with me <clears throat> let me know i would love all the help we can get uh we've got the army helping great job we've got angling trust uh people on hand great job um you know the more people we can have there making sure all the anglers are happy and all the spectators are happy the better um you know, let's all let's all get behind this, and uh, hopefully, we'll see national events here in the future as well. So it's going to be great, really great. Yeah, exactly, mate. And is there anything else that you want to put out there, obviously, to anyone, whether it be the international guys or just people that want to come and watch? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, all I would say is, obviously, the only questions I've had to answer over the last few weeks has been from other international teams saying, "Oh, why aren't we coming?" Um, Ultimately, we've got 60 pegs. Uh, we try to invite people that we have an open communication with. And it's just to get it off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally just to get it off the ground. It's gonna, There's going to be one next year. There's going to be one the year after. And like I said before, I really hope um, that FIPS uh, see what is happening and decide to run a European feeder champs. We'll happily step aside and let them do it. Until that happens, I just hope that this keeps expanding. And maybe in a few years' time, we'll even come back to England. But I can assure you, it won't be coming back to England anytime soon. We'll be promoting other countries to try to run the event. Um, so to all the people who are thinking about getting it, come and watch, do it. Get yourself there. Come and see what it's about. Um, the match times are 10 till 3, Monday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, and 9.30 till 2.30 on Friday. So, you know, come and enjoy it and give the anglers uh, a bit of respect on the bank, and I'm sure it'll be fantastic. Yeah. A absolutely great, yeah. So that will we'll finish there then, Lee. Absolutely fantastic. Great job with setting this event up, and we hope Thanks. to see all of you guys out there that have watched this on the bank at Boston, supporting our England lads, and obviously getting as much out of it as possible. Cheers.